Welcome to the show. Man, we have a show for you. You are going to love today's show. Do you like Shakespeare? Well, if you do, we are ready for you. Today, we have the director of community engagements for the Hudson Valley Shakespeare Festival. So, my name is Vin Aquino. Her name is Elizabeth Audley. Elizabeth, what is a director <laughs> of community engagements? Oh, it's a good question. <laughs> yeah. You in charge of, like, of engagements? Yeah, engagements, weddings, <laughs> you know. <Cool. laughs> no. um, my job at the Shakespeare Festival is to make relationships within the community of the Hudson Valley. So when you say Shakespeare Festival, yes, uh, is this like Shakespeare in the Park? Mm -hmm. It is. It's a lot like Shakespeare in the Park. It has a lot in common with um, the public theaters, yeah. Shakespeare in the Park. I used to go that. to Central Park and go yeah. to all oh, was Wonderful. It's a great experience yeah, yeah. to sort of have a nice summer night outside mm -hmm. and see a play. And, and so, so some of these performances are done outside? They're all done outside. Wow. We're an outside theater. Wow. Um, we perform, we're a nonprofit theater, and we perform outside on the grounds of the Boscobel House and Gardens oh, down. Beautiful right on site, the right on Route the, 9? Right on Route 9. Uh, right outside of Cold Spring. Right at, between Cold Spring and Garrison, right wow, on the bank of the what Hudson. A beautiful, so beautiful site. Our scenery is the scenery of the beautiful yeah, Hudson, Hudson Valley. Oh so you can't get, we Shakespeare would be proud. Yeah, he <laughs> was, he, I, you know, the Globe Theater where he yeah. performed was also, yeah, you know, outside. an outside theater. Yeah, the whole so. idea. So we have a big theater tent that that rises up in the in May, wow. and it's there all summer long. You can see it from the road. You can see it from the train. It's um, it's very exciting when it when it comes up and it uh, seats about I think about seven hundred people. We do seven hundred yeah, people. Yeah. Oh man. And we um, we do five show. We're doing five shows this summer. Wow. Um, in repertory. So there's a different show every night. Every night of the week, you can see something different. Get out. Yeah, so you see wow. you see Taming of the Shrew one night. Next night you see Robin Hood. Next night you see Richard the Second. So you can have a picnic beforehand. Wow. You can so you could bring your own picnic can bring your own basket. picnic, or you wow. can order one from us. We'll have it ready for you. Get out. Yeah, you can when you buy your ticket, you can buy a bottle of wine. Oh man, <laughs> I like that. Really? So it's oh, a really, really nice night for wow. for for people. I'm, I'm from embarrassed all over. to say I haven't been. Well, you gotta come, man. I, I will. I will. You gotta come so and be my guest. It starts in May. So it it's starts. Already... We actually our first performances start this week. They start wow. June seventh. They start tomorrow. Wow. And we run all the way through Labor Day. So. And they start at what time? Seven thirty. All 730. of our shows are at seven. And they go roughly to like nine thirty. Yeah, roughly 9.30 or 10, depending on how long the play and is. parking is not a problem. Parking's no problem. Parking's free on site. Wow. Right there at Boscobel. That yeah. is amazing. And the tent is covered, and so rain or shine, we perform. The audience is covered. The actors sometimes get a little wet. Yeah. But, right. uh, <laughs> so did Shakespeare's actors. <laughs> so did Shakespeare's <laughs> actors. So, so, yeah, we perform seven days a week, uh, all wow. summer long. Wow. So tell me a little bit about when did this all begin? Yeah. Well, the Shakespeare Festival, this is our 32nd season. Wow. 32 years we've been doing this. 32 years. And it really has grown from a, a real sort of, I think that it's been at Boscobel, you have to correct, I'm not sure that I'm getting these dates right, but it's been at Boscobel almost the whole time. But it really started as, I think, a real community sort of labor of love that wow. there was this desire to really have excellent, you know, art here yeah. at home in the Hudson Valley that you don't need to go to New York City, you yeah. don't need to go to yeah. the Berkshires that People we can don't do realize it here. It. Absolutely. I mean yeah. Cold Springs. Yeah. I go to Cold Springs yeah. just to walk the streets on yeah. a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Because it's so wonderful. There's I so mean, many it artists. Overlooks the and Hudson. Yeah. That view of the Hudson. I know, is like it can't be beat. Just amazing. It can't be beat. Yeah. Yeah. So uh so now you have actors? We do. We have a company of actors who come from all over. They come from this year's company of actors are come from all over the world, actually. 
Um, and I think it's a company of about 25 actors. Wow. They're in all three plays. Now this here, this... Yeah, that's uh, the grounds at wow, Oscar Bell. Wow, so look at that. So you can, can you see... Believe that? We perform outside and the audience sits on three sides, so you're really close to the action. You're really down there with the actors. So it's like the Globe Theater yeah. where you know, people are in the round, kind of. And nobody has to stand, though. It's not like the wow. Globe. You don't have to stand to get yeah. a good seat. And then you can see that as the, um, as the sun sets, the sun sets in the play and so one wow. of the things that I think is the most fun about seeing a play at Basquebel is that um, we're really a part of the natural environment. Yeah, because environment. if you're starting now, that uh -huh. means it doesn't get dark till about 8.30. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it starts at 7.30. Now what is this? Yeah. So that is, a, that is the picture from the front cover of our brochure and that is um, from our production of Romeo and Juliet. Wow. Yeah. They're engaged. <laughs> I think it ended well it's for them. Community engagement, not, right? I don't know if I remember the story, but I think it was a happy one. Yeah. I, think it, I think it all worked out and good this for those is? kids. So that's another one of our performances, and you can see that um, we sometimes have kids in our performances. Yeah. And you can see here how beautiful it is when the sun starts to go it down. It's just and, unbelievable. I mean, your set, yeah. man, it's cheap you, sets. You can't build a better set, right? Oh, you can't. Whoa. I mean, you can't do that it. That is amazing. I have got to get there. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to guess that that's from William, our... I hope you're not watching this. <laughs> I know. Well, here's one of the things about the Shakespeare Festival. <laughs> we don't take William Shakespeare too seriously. Oh, okay. We... That's good. I don't think he took himself too seriously. I don't seriously. think he did either. He was a person who wrote for the people. Yep. He was a man of the people. He wasn't a nobleman. He, uh, you know, he wrote for everybody. His stories are for everybody. And so we don't treat Shakespeare as sort of this revered historical figure yeah. that has to be, you know, treated carefully and respected and, and in a certain way. Yeah. We're a little bit looser. Yeah. I mean, and with if our... we remember theater in yeah. those days was a whole different ball game. Yep. I mean, you didn't appear on the cover of a magazine if you were in the theater. Mm -mm. In fact, the nobility didn't even talk to you because these, yeah, you got oranges they were low life. You. <laughs> you know? uh, and yeah. It, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, yeah. and especially, Women. Yeah. I mean, men had to play women yep. because women were considered... No women on stage. No men. Mm -mm. Couldn't be. Couldn't trust so them. So it was a whole... <laughs> <laughs> so it was a whole different world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so, yeah, you have to respect that. Yeah. And you have to respect what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, you're presenting Shakespeare for the people of today yeah. so that they can appreciate yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And also see how... Those stories that were written so long ago are yeah. still and they still relevant. Romeo and Juliet it's still, is you know, as relevant today yeah. as it was back then. I mean, about two families, you know, who don't get along, about yeah. two tribes and who they don't want and, and, and can't it understand could be each racial. other. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's so many different issues yeah. that are so similar today. Yeah. We're fighting many of the same things. Yeah, where where kids are told. You can't yeah. date anyone yep. from that from that group. tribe, from that group, yeah, mm -hmm. that tribe, that group, yeah. that family, and and resulted in death. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, it's an amazing story. Yeah, and all of his stories, I think, are just some of the best stories that we have because they're yeah. so they're they're big, they're yeah. epic stories, and they've but been they're retold human too. So many yeah. different ways. Yeah. Uh, so you tell them your way. Yeah. Who decides, I mean, who rewrites these plays? And who well, we don't rewrite them. We use Shakespeare's language. We don't, we don't change any of his words. Good. Um, sometimes we will make cuts in them to make them a little bit shorter. Yeah. Because some of Shakespeare's plays, if they're done yeah, uncut, they're it's, so it's a long night. Yeah. And for, for example, we do school tours. Um, we take a, one show a year we take on the road. We take wow. it to area schools. Um, and we cut that one down. This year the show was Hamlet. Um, ah. And we cut that one down to be 90 minutes so it'll fit within a classroom yeah, time of period. Yeah, you're um, tied in. And that's between the director of the play. The artistic director has a lot of input on that. The education director has a lot of input on yeah. that of sort of how can we tell the story best. And So you, you know, see how many people are involved in creating yeah. this show here today. Yeah. I could imagine a yeah. show like that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So how many people are involved in a production? Well, we have our staff, our full-time staff year-round is about 12 people. 12 people. But then in the summertime, we grow to about 100 people. Do you do any performances in the 
winter? Or? We do, what we do in the winter is we have two things that go on. We have our education programs that are in schools, and those are okay. year-round, full-time. Wow. Um, and then the department that I'm running, which is the community engagement department, we do workshops and meetups and things like that all year-round as well. So you have a community engagement program. Yeah. Uh, happening like next week. Yeah, we tell, do. Yeah, we tell do. Me about that. So we have a couple of different ways. Our 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 goal with the community engagement department, which is called Full Circle, that's its that's the name of the of the program. It's called Full Circle, is to get people involved in participating in making art, in in inviting them and giving them ways to be more than a spectator, to be a creator as wow. well. Because I think yeah. that. I Been there, that, done that. Yeah. I work with writers all the time. I know. In fact, you're going to be coming yeah, to talk gonna, to my writers. I know. You invited uh, me. They're going to love it. They're <laughs> going to love it. They're going to love you. I'm really excited to meet uh, them. These are people who write books. They yeah. write novels. They write, and many of them are aspiring yeah. playwrights. So, well, man, we want to the give time. them. We want to give them the, the opportunity to. Oh, they will. And so, what we're doing is we have um, we have workshops in lots of different areas, and the ones that we have coming up next this weekend and the June 9th, 10th and 16th are free playwriting workshops wow. um, held at local libraries and the libraries are right here in Kent, um, That's great. in Garrison, Cold Spring, Beacon, Newburgh and Peekskill wow. and they're free. They're free wow. uh, workshops that are run by a woman named Christine Scarfudo who's the dramaturg at um, or the literary manager at the Long Wharf Theatre in Connecticut. Wow. And a wonderful teacher and a wonderful playwright. How long do the workshops run? They're two hours. Two hours, and they start at what time of the day? I'd have to. I think that depends on where you are, because we do two a day, and so oh, you do two we a do day. Two a day, yeah. Wow. It's uh, we 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 want to get to as many people as we can. So yeah, pack them in. Yeah. Um, but I think they start. There's one usually one at 10 a.m. and there's usually one at 1 p.m. Wow. Or something like that. So but they our, run a couple hours. Yeah, two so hours. So 10 to 12, and then maybe yeah. one to three. Yeah. And then cool. and the it's cool right thing, here at Kent. Right here at Kent. Sybil Ludington Way. That's right. Uh, yep, yep. And then the cool thing is that um, what we do is if you take a workshop, then you're invited to submit a 10 minute play to our play reading contest. And a couple of those plays will be chosen to be read as part of our new works series wow. in August. So we do a whole festival of new works in August and we choose three to five plays that get sort of come out of these workshops. And these are not necessarily Shakespeare. Mm -mm, no. It's just it could be plays on whatever. All, yeah, we do all sorts of, it's funny because the, the, the name Shakespeare is in our title, but we always do at least one play that's not it's Shakespeare. not Shakespeare. So we always will do Shakespeare, but we also, you know, yeah, try to stories bring in come a from everywhere. Other, you know? There's other, other playwrights stories. besides yeah. Shakespeare? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one or two. One or two yeah. worth knowing about. <laughs> uh, all right, so yeah. that, that's, that's terrific. Now, yeah. You had said, how many people do you have in your community? You know, it's a great question because we are, you know, I'm the director of community engagement, and right. so it's a new position this year. Oh. And it's... Um, uh, excuse me, how yeah. long have you been in? I've been in the position since January. Okay. But how long have you been affiliated with the Shakespeare Festival? Since January. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. Yeah. And here you are, a spokesman. I know. I know. I know. That's wonderful. <laughs> Um, so we, uh, but the program started, the community engagement department started in 2016 because we did this production, it was, that was our 30th year, and we did this production um, of the play Our Town uh, oh, by Thornton wow. Wilder, so wow. a really wonderful, timeless yeah. story. Yep. And the way that the company did it is that they cast it primarily with members of the community. So there were three uh, sure. actors. Our town. our town, right? It's our town. Yeah. So we're, we wanted to tell it with the people from yeah, our, our town. town. Yeah. So they got people um, of all different levels of age and experience um, and all different backgrounds to come and play the parts in the show. And they did it under that beautiful That's tent terrific. in that beautiful venue. And I'll tell you, it just... Um, How did you get the kids? The kids, you know, we, a lot of it was that their parents told them about it or we'd done education programs in schools oh, yeah, and so they knew sure. about us that way and 
We did a lot of just really yeah. old-fashioned grassroots. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with, duh, yeah. community outreach. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And it's, you know, you the old-fashioned ways of you put a flyer yeah. up in the coffee right. shop or at the yeah. library and New say. New shows on the local t community do you want access. Yeah, exactly. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> um, yeah. so, so we did that play, and it was yeah. just, um, everybody just went crazy for it. It was just so now, great. Being who I am. Yes. Let's go back to a night at Basketball. Okay. There's food there? You can order food. Uh, what do you ahead mean of time. order food? They when have you, like when a... you buy your tickets online, you can right. say, I also want to purchase. And a how picnic. do you get, and then you what? You order food for the people? Yeah, well, well we have uh, some partnerships with different local caterers and different local wow. restaurants. And then we'll they put together a nice picnic for you. Wow. Yeah. That it's is, a nice night. It's a wonderful <laughs> night. Oh my God. We have friends coming from England. Uh huh. I'm, now, you should how, bring them. How far, how far does it go into the summer? I it mean, goes what, all what the way it? through Labor Day, whole summer long. All the way through Labor Day. Any night of the week. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, we're going to bring them. Yeah. I oh, love it. Are you kidding? We're going to show off, yeah. show them how America <laughs> That's deals right. with Shakespeare. That's right. Show them what you got right here. <laughs> I love it. Uh, do you do any acting? I used to, yeah. Really? I used to do some acting. Do you do any acting? Uh, a little. All right. I, I, you want to be in a play? I, uh, <laughs> you know what my problem is? What? Memorizing lines. Yeah. yeah. I hate it. I, can't, it, I panic. Yeah. Know? And and I directed drama for middle school uh -huh. 15 years. Yeah. 20 years. But I bet you're a great improviser. Yes. Yeah. That I can do. That's what I was, you know. Give me a microphone. Yeah. And give me an audience. Yeah. Tell me ten minutes before that I have a speech to do. I don't care if there's three thousand <laughs> people in the audience, I can do it. Hand me yeah. a speech. Yeah. Forget about it. Yeah. I just I'm not one to memorize. Yeah. But I can talk you off can. the cuff at yeah, any yeah. time, anywhere. Um but yeah, it's That's the memorizing. Skill. And I worked with my students on that uh -huh. to help them remember lines. That's such a great skill. Yeah. Mario, our director, yeah. well, one of the directors here, is a wonderful actor. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, I've watched him in his plays. I mean, I, I, it makes me crazy yeah. to think how many lines this guy can uh, deliver yeah. in one night. Yeah. Uh, and we've talked about this, you yeah. know, and ways to learn, yeah. you know, and I've worked with my students who've had tons of lines, yeah. and they're like, oh, yeah, that works, that's perfect. Yeah. It doesn't work on me somehow. <laughs> <laughs> works on them. But you <laughs> cannot do teach, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You cannot do teach. Uh, so, yeah, so it, it's a wonderful thing. And, yeah. And there's just, I mean, I was born to be in front of an audience. Yeah. And Westchester County and Dutchess County uh, and Putnam County are wonderful audiences. Yeah, they These are. people are more and more becoming engaged. Uh, engaged. Yeah. 30 years ago, I moved into this area. It was a different place. Mm -hmm. It is growing culturally mm -hmm. beautifully. Yeah. Beautifully. And there are so many wonderful people out there reaching out to the community. Yeah. Uh, that's what this show is about. Yeah. This show is basically people and their passions. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the idea. Who was more passionate than William Shakespeare? Yeah. And to take his work yeah. and to bring it to the people yeah. is what it was all about. Yeah, that's where it So belongs. I think, you know, what you're doing is just simply wonderful. Mm. Uh, reaching out to playwrights. Yeah. I mean, I urge Anyone out there who even is even thinking of writing, to Absolutely. do it, I'm going to try to be there. Yeah, I'd love well, to I see you there. I will try to be there. Yeah, you don't need any experience to come, and That's it's going to be a great. It's going to be yeah. a great class. It's going to really sort of help people. Now, tell me if 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 someone wants to take these classes, yeah. what do you do? Do we have? Yeah. Uh, do we have a website or a number or well, an they address? Can, they can certainly email me. Okay. And I think that and your email, my email address. I think my email uh -huh. was on the screen before, but it's e. Yep. Audley. There you are, Elizabeth Audley. E. Audley at hvshakespeare.org. So if you and think they'll you email come, you and say, Elizabeth, I want to come. I want to come. Yeah. 
and that's all. Yeah. And and the cost is phenomenal. Free. Nothing. Free. Can't beat it. Can't, Can't beat the beat price. It. Can't beat it. Senior citizens, students, everybody, get out there. Yeah. That's Saturday at Kent. And yep. now this won't be the last one. No, we're going to keep doing these all year round. All year yeah. round. Not yeah. no summer. Yeah. All year yeah. round. Yeah. It's wonderful. And it's not always uh, playwriting, or is yeah, it? we've got workshops and lots. We had storytelling workshops wow. earlier this spring. We had um, set design workshops earlier this Great. spring. We have a big community play that we're doing this year where if you want to act on stage, we just wow. had auditions. We're going to have a do big it if play. you don't give me too many lines. <laughs> we'll, give you, we'll give you an yeah. improvised Or part. give me give me a little speaker in the ear. Sure. Yeah. Uh, alas. <laughs> alas, poor York. Alas, poor York. Oh, <laughs> you're a natural. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, so it, it's wonderful, and you're going to be doing things all year at Basketball. That's right. Uh, now and other places, and out in the community. That's part of my work is to take the stuff that we do at Basketball, which is so wonderful, and bring it to, the to other places, so to bring it to Kent, it to too. bring it to to Mayapak, to bring it to Beacon and Peak Skills, so that. You don't have to come to us so that we'll come to you. And you do work with libraries. We work with libraries. I want you to contact Manpack Library. I will. I will. There's a lot of wonderful people there. And please use my name. I will. Go there and say, Vinny said All right. that we have to do a Shakespeare workshop here. All right. I'm going to get the keys workshop. to the kingdom, I bet. Yeah, get the keys to the kingdom. <laughs> I will make sure. Uh, so it sounds wonderful. Uh, so the first play, yeah. what, what is happening now at Basketball? So right week? now, we're opening three shows wow. at the same time. Um, the first show is Taming of the Shrew. Uh, the, sh the second show is Robin Hood, yeah. a new no, telling. Robin Hood? Yeah, I know. It's, really? it's, like a, it's a new take. Yeah. On the old story, and it focuses on. This isn't like Robin Hood and tights. Or it's anything. not. There's no tights in it. I'm sorry <laughs> if that's something anybody is looking forward to. I didn't. I saw a preview the other night. I didn't see any tights. Um, but they put Maid Marian in the oh. center of the story, so she wow. becomes oh. the hero. So she, oh, yeah. good. About time they put a woman right? as a hero. <laughs> so We've been fighting for she Civil Luddington saves for years. Robin Hood from himself. Uh, and then the third one is Richard the Second. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so really timely, wow. really interesting play yeah, about sort that of... That is a very hard yeah, actor's challenge. It sure is. Whoa. Um, and I'll tell you, the, in, one of the things that I think is most exciting about it is that we have a woman playing the part of Richard II. Really? Yeah, we have a wonderful woman named Julia Coffey who has taken on the role of Richard II. Wow. She's not playing it as a woman, so it's not Queen Richard. She is just, she's Richard II, and she's yeah. playing it as a woman. So like wow. you were saying, where yeah, just before the there is no but, parts for, yeah. for the women, yeah. women are taking the center yeah, stage no, women this year. are taking men's part, yeah. just the opposite of what yeah. had to happen in William yeah. Shakespeare's time. Yeah. Wow. And then later on in the summer, we'll have a play that'll be brand new, um, and it'll be, it's a, it's a kind of play that's called a devised play, called The Sea Maid's Music, and what it means to be devised is that we don't know what it is yet. They're going to make it up. The company wow. is going to write it. They're going to create it. Oh my God. It's going to be something we've this never is seen so before. so wonderful to, to, to help the creative yeah. juices of creative yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, our writer's workshop at Midpac Library has been going since 1997. Wow. And wow. we've been having these writers who come in and they said, I think I want to write a book. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay. Yeah. Thinking parts over. Now it's time to write it. Yeah. And it's amazing to see how much creativity. Yeah. People who are, I mean, we have a postmaster. Mm -hmm. We have a guy who sells popcorn at the movie theater. Yeah. We have lawyers, yeah. doctors, uh, people from all walks of life yeah. who have always wanted to write. Yeah. And we had a, a fellow on the show, he was a superintendent of schools, wrote a pretty spicy novel. <laughs> so uh -huh. he waited until he was through with the uh -huh. superintendency and then wrote the book that he always wanted to write. That's great. You know, we have yeah. dreams in us. Yeah. And yeah. people like you help to bring dreams yeah. to reality. Yeah. Shakespeare had a dream. It sure did. It lasted about 500 years. Yeah. <laughs> well, I really agree with you, Vin. I really, I feel like we're really the same in that way that I feel like every person has creativity inside of yeah. them. 
You've got to find it. Everybody does. Find and the key. It's, you know, part of, I think, our mission at the Shakespeare Festival is to find ways where yep. pe everybody, yep. you know, art isn't something that belongs to one group of people. No. And to so make many it or times to see it. art lies dormant in yeah. us it, because there's no opportunity yeah. to release it. And people like you, and you help us and me help us to release yeah. the creativity inside of us. Yeah. You've got to find the real you. Get off the couch. Yeah. The other thing I love out. that you do is that is that you have your writers come in a group because yeah. I think that that part of, of sort of the intersection of art making and community, making art together. That's the key. You community know, that you, is the key. You come together in a way, mm -hmm. you know, that people come together yeah. to, to, to make something. I think that's the part of Putnam County yeah. that I love the most. Yeah. I watched it grow for 30 years and I watched people become more and more creative more yeah. and more involved. I mean, I'm so proud of the Manpac yeah. Library. Yeah. This four-story building. What an incredible I mean, it's a three-story building. Yeah. With, I mean, there's things going on there every single day. I know. You need to be involved. You need to understand the arts, and you need to understand that people like Elizabeth are trying to make the arts come alive. So you need to be involved in what they're involved in. Elizabeth, I have bad news for you. Oh no. Andy, our cameraman, <laughs> is holding up a sign that says, shoot. two minutes, oh, two minutes. You have two minutes, All Elizabeth. Right. Say whatever you need to say in two All minutes. Right. Last thing I want to tell you is that the last show of our season is one that I'm really excited about, okay. which is a brand new adaptation. It's our first commissioned piece. Wow. And it's a new adaptation of the Rip Van Winkle story, okay. which you re may remember as the guy who takes yep. a walk in the woods and falls asleep for 20 years. For 20 years. years, comes back and it's a new world. And we're doing the play four times over Labor Day weekend. It's free. Tickets are 100% wow. free. Absolutely. And the great and the most exciting thing about it is that it's a cast of 45 people. 45 people Huge in one show. Huge cast. Reminds me of my middle school plays. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and 41 of those people are members of our local community. That's great. They come from Rockland County, Orange County, Dutchess County, Putnam County, Westchester County, all levels of experience. And so it's an opportunity to really see a story that's about the Hudson Valley told by the people who live here. Wonderful. So. Quick recap, ladies and gentlemen, here's the story. This Saturday, there is a workshop. Yes. Kent Library, get involved. It's going to be every week. Also, go to basketball, see some of these plays, go to hvshakespeare.org. Shakespeare .org. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being part of it. Elizabeth, Thank you're the you best. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ben. Keep on doing what you're doing. We love what you're doing.